There's this feeling that I wish everyone in the world could feel. There's almost nothing like it. When the sound of everything is as it should be, and as the sound of your instrument and how you're feeling as you play it, and even the smell of an audience, and you put all that together, it's euphoric. I never aspired to be a guitar player. A lot of times they say bass players, they weren't good enough to play guitar. I was never like that. I always wanted to play the bass. There's a club here in Hollywood called the Viper Room. In the mid 70s, I was playing there when it was called Filthy McNasties. I was in the house band there. I used to play there five nights a week. One night, a guy came up to me and said, there's a band looking for bass players. I ended up auditioning for this band and I got the gig. The very first show was in front of 40,000 people opening for Santana with this band called El Chicano. That was the first time I got to experience a really big show where it's just like, you know, that, that feeling. That was the first time I really felt that connection with an audience. But of course, all the years playing with Oingo Boingo, you kind of get spoiled as far as playing shows because there was such a love affair, especially in LA, with our audience and the band. And the energy that I would get almost every single time I ever played with Oingo Boingo was just phenomenal. In-ear monitoring was something that wasn't around early on. And it wasn't until really the last couple of years that I decided I wanted to give them a try. The importance of in-ear monitoring, one, is having a great sounding pair, like Ultimate Ears, the ones I use live, but also it's important having a monitor engineer that you trust and who knows how to get a great sound. But just being able to feel if it's the drummer that I need to play off of the kick and snare, having the kick and snare just right there. A lot of times when you're playing along with tracks, I like to have the tracks just right there so that you're tight. But also being a background vocalist and sometimes a lead vocalist, hearing the vocals that you need to be tight with, also very important. And especially the lead vocal because you want to play off the lead vocal's energy. One of the pleasant surprise of using in-ear monitors was that I always had this fear that they were just going to be really loud and you were going to be ringing. I found it to be the complete opposite. I had no ringing. It just took away all that brashness that you hear from around the stage. I think they protect my ears when I use them. Yeah.